This is my disc destroyer. It's a mean little machine with one job, testing grinding discs. With so many grinding discs and countless reviews, it's hard to separate fact from fiction. This is where the disc destroyer comes in. It cuts through the noise, delivering real results. No bias, no sponsorships, just cold hard tests. Grinding discs can face a lot of real world challenges, like high and low pressures, hot and cold materials, and of course, fast and slow speeds. This machine tests it all, so that we can finally find the truth in the reviews. Today I am testing the Blackhawk Abrasives Fiber Disc, coming in at $1.30. This disc has a handful of reviews, most of them being positive, like this reviewer who says these discs are far superior to the cheap ones, and this person who said the disc belongs in a perfect world. But at $1.30, how perfect can it actually be? With this serious reviewer saying that the discs wore out fast, and this one stating they're just not impressed, who do we believe? Well, we're gonna have to test these discs to find out. Let me break this down for you. Each disc will be grinding this test bar to see how much it can remove within 20 minutes time. This will chart out its story and tell us exactly how this disc behaves based on how much material it removes at any given point. But if the disc stops effectively grinding the bar or just straight up disintegrates, the test is over. Let's begin. To start, we are going to test the discs with a four pound weight, which is about the same as a grinder. This disc started out promising shaving off one and three quarters of an inch within the first 30 seconds, making these positive reviews look like there was some truth behind them. But as quickly as it started, the Blackhawk abrasives disc started to throw less sparks and slow down its cutting. I had to stop the test in just under four minutes after it cut about three inches of material. Unsure about which reviews to believe, I knew we had to keep going, so this time I added a heat variable, simulating grinding on a hot fresh weld and went again. And this disc did not do well. After only two minutes, the disc was done, only removing one and three quarters of an inch, the same amount the cold test did in 30 seconds. So what's the deal? Both discs stopped because of glazing, but seeing as the hot test did so much worse, it leads me to believe these Blackhawk abrasive fiber discs do not like the heat, because they glazed almost instantly on contact, leading to such a poor performance. These results only caused me to have more questions. So I set the rig up again and changed the weight to 8 pounds to see how these discs perform with the extra pressure. And right away I noticed a difference. The extra pressure gave this disc an advantage going all the way to 5 minutes and ended up removing over 6 inches of material. Can we match its performance with a heated coupon as well or will it fail miserably like the 4 pound test? Let's see. So I heated the coupon and ran the test one last time and the disc excelled. It started off removing an inch of material in just 15 seconds, already way better than the four pound test. And instead of glazing instantly, it cut all the way through the five minute test period and ended up removing about six inches. What this tells me is this disc works best at a higher pressure. Positive reviewers were most likely using a heavier hand when grinding, getting better results. Whereas the negative reviewers were likely not grinding with enough pressure, causing the disc to glaze rather quickly. If you'd like to see the data I've collected for this disc, as well as the other discs in these tests, I've posted them at the Fireball Forum, linked in the description. I'm gonna keep posting more and more of these test videos, so stay tuned to find the truth in the reviews. And if you're wondering why I built the rig the way I did, how it works, and what it's all about, I have a video that goes into great detail that you should check out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.